hi guys welcome back to fairies tutorials now have you ever stopped to consider the scientific principles that governs the way in which our meals are cooked well you are in for a treat because in today's session we'll be looking at the principles of heat transfer stay tuned and health section 4 food science and technology and in today's session we're looking at content 10 which has to do with principles of heat transfer now let us take a look at our focus points so we'll be looking at an overview of heat transfer the different types of heat transfer which are conduction convection and radiation now let us start with the overview of heat transfer heat transfer is the exchange of thermal energy between physical systems the rate of heat transfer is dependent upon the temperatures of the systems and the properties of the intervening medium through which the heat is transferred now there are three fundamental modes of heat transfer they are conduction convection and radiation now that we have set the foundation of heat transfer now we're going to look at the different types of heat transfer and based on your image what you're seeing here we're seeing where radiation is taking place convection and also conduction now let us look at them in detail and we're starting off with conduction now let us look at this image so what we're seeing here we're seeing a, a teacup with some tea in it and then there is what a metal spoon so spoon in the hot coffee getting hotter to the end of the spoon that's an example of conduction right no conduction is a transfer of heat through solid objects when molecules get hot they vibrate and move rapidly the faster the movement the more heat energy is produced the object to be heated must be in direct contact with the heat source another example here we have a saucepan on the range and you notice that what the pot is getting hot, uh, hot and also the handle. Now, if you go ahead and hold that metal pot, what you're going to get? You're going to get burned because what? It is the heat has been transferred through the handle by the method of conduction. And therefore, if it's a metal pot handle, you will get burned, right? Now, let us look at some good conductors of heat. So some materials have molecules that vibrate more easily other than others. Example, copper, cast iron, silver, and aluminum. Now, some materials have molecules that do not vibrate easily. Therefore, it is very difficult for heat to pass through. And examples of these are wood, plastic, glass, wool, cotton cloth so we're speaking of good conductors of heat and poor conductors good conductors of heat are the mat are made from materials where the heat can easily penetrate and these are copper cast iron silver and aluminum on the other hand we have poor conductors of heat and these are made from by materials that do not vibrate easily when heat is applied good therefore example include wood plastic glass wool and also cotton cloth now let us look at convection now convection is the transfer of heat through air or liquids when gas or liquids are heated the molecules become lighter and they rise now the cooler heavier molecules sink to the bottom to take the space necessary 
from the heat source so as in with boiling and you notice that the bubbles will circulate in the water right so the cooler molecules are then heated and they rise and the process continues in a circular pattern pattern right so we can have convection happening is within air as in with a, within a convection oven when the air will circulate to bake the products and also through liquid so when we're have when we're boiling something also that's another example of convection now let us look at radiation radiation is heat energy in the form of rays or waves these rays travel in straight lines radiant heat energy is rapid because it travels with the speed of light in any direction now let us look at this example we have the light energy that is being struck by the cat going near to the surface we have conduction based on the instrument the metal instrument that is being used in the fire and we also have convection taking place on top of the stove in the liquid where you notice that it is being circulated and then hot air will rises and it goes in a circular motion even in the sun we can feel radiant energy right so we can feel the heat struck in us if we stand near to a fire we can also feel that heat energy source as well likewise with grilling or broiling we may use that is uh, radiant heat it is used to struck the food so that it can be cooked now that's it for today on the principles of heat transfer awesome you've made it to the end of the video don't forget to like subscribe and also share with persons who you know will find this information useful thank you for making it various tutorials